And that for me is a pretty good indicator. And I, I tell you what it describes. It describes Mr. Prince's, I've got to keep dancing because the music's still playing. And we understand that completely, the enormous commercial imperative of the industry to play uh, up to and over the edge. But they're not complete idiots. And so they say, well, I've got to keep dancing, but I don't have to keep dancing with Pumatech, the most advanced stock in 99. I'm going to transfer uh, to Coca-Cola. And I'll keep dancing off the edge, but I'll go off with Coca-Cola. And it works. The Coca-Colas may be handsomely overpriced, but in 1929 and 2000, 2001 and so on, they always go down a lot less as the bubble breaks. And that's the phenomenon that causes this very rare indicator of impending doom, which we saw uh, last year. And so by early this year, it seemed clear to me that this was not only the real McCoy bubble, which had been clear for a year or so, uh, in terms of pricing and, and enthusiasm, but it, it had triggered this very rare uh, indicator of impending doom, in other words, now. And so uh, our piece of a year and a bit ago was called Waiting for the Last Dance, and our equivalent follow-up this January was Let the Wild Rumpus Begin, i.e. we're in it, dudes, <laughs> and uh, I do believe we are. And I, I, I believe the declines will be very substantial. 